that is afraid of being contaminated by the world. Something definitely is wrong, sir. So that we will not walk in that pathway, he had to correct our corporate gathering. Did you hear what the Spirit of God said? People that were here, as at the time, they received something individually. And this is the reason why we've built uh, very few strong men and corporate weak people. Because we love to receive things individually. When will it be corporate? When will one chase a thousand and two ten thousand? When will it happen? I thank God For his mercies endures forever. And we would have missed him just like that. And people will be gathered for two days, speak words over people's head, and it's gone. The genuineness of faith makes God to be committed. He knew when he spoke to Papa to Pick the date. He saw the genuineness of the heart. And he wouldn't allow it to be wasted. So he had to come to insist that there be a manner of entry. You cannot just come as you like. There is a manner of entry. Because there is a work that has started already. That's God. There is a work that I, God, have already started. And it cannot be stopped. You will know what true fear means from now. You will see as the fear of God returns. You will no more feel God anymore. You will know for yourself. Let the camp be pure. Let the camp be holy. Keep to simple instructions. Because this ground is holy. And fearful. Very simple instructions. Keep to them. God can bypass any, any generation and wait for the next. He has eternity. He does not have time. You are the ones that have time. He doesn't have. So he will wait till that generation passes by. And then he will go, and he will go to another generation that is willing to listen. The presence of God here is not down to goosebumps at all. Why? Because what he's going to do will be genuine work. Genuine work for a generation that lacks strength. So for once, can we forget about individual and be corporate? Can we be corporate? Can the Spirit of God minister to us corporately? And we just drop that idea of God and before you know, we are. We are. And everybody will watch over his brethren to the left and to the right to make sure that we are committed to this corporate grace. Because something is being birthed. And all God needs is one man. And we are more than one here. Just one. You are 
talking, I can hear you. Keep speaking. Keep speaking. Keep speaking.
Jesus.
Father of life, Father of life, who are you? The Lord just cut off lying tongue from someone. An unconscious ability to lie at will. There is exchange of character, exchange of nature from eternal into God is bringing his nature to this place and in turn is taking from us our nature holy holy are you Lord holy are you Lord <laughs> Holy are you, Lord. Holy are you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, 
Thank you. 
You know, first man. First man in the Bible. He came in. Sir. Before what I saw, I believe strongly that when Jesus comes in, his nature rubs off on everyone. But this particular vision I just saw now scared me because I saw that the fourth man was in that fire, but his nature didn't rub off on Nebuchadnezzar. That happened in chapter 2, if I'm correct. By yeah, chapter 3. By chapter 4, Nebuchadnezzar became an animal. So, did he see the fourth man? Did he see the fourth man? He did. But was there any exchange? No. And as the vision left, the Lord said to me, that is the, that is the experience that most of our churches have been having. He comes in quite well. But he covers himself from us getting his nature. Because what was wrong was the heart of Nebuchadnezzar. It was a proud heart. And all God did was to take his understanding away so he could behave like ostrich. If you know the description of ostrich in Job, is the one that takes every effort to nurture its young one and then destroys it. Because the Bible wrote there that the Lord deprives him of understanding. That was, that was the Gadnezer right there. He saw the fourth man. Was that not a witness? That's a witness. He said, I saw the fourth man. But what kind of witness will or did he become? A witness that there was no changed life. The witnessing was just in the English. It was just in the word. He spoke Christianese right there. I saw the fourth man. And so what? You still became an animal. The Jesus that I see that makes me speak in tongues and I still sin. I still fall. And every whims and caprices of sin. Yesterday ended last night. That's the announcement I'm making here. The Jesus that came in afterwards, as I lifted up my eyes, he covered everyone. I saw the vision. It was complete, sir. He didn't allow me to see to see the first one without the second one. That second one gave me hope. There is a renewed hope here today. That the Jesus that you will see today will take your nature away. And you will begin to live his life. That no more will it be written in the annals of our living that we stood before him saw him but never shared of his nature no more yesterday ended last night you are who holy there is a deep exchange of nature here suddenly you will be a different person completely not like Saul that's that prophesied and was still looking for javelin the prophecy didn't do anything. He prophesied with other prophets. Afterwards, he was still looking for javelin to kill David. How do I have so much office, so much anointing, and there is no nature that is changed? Yesterday ended last night. The Jesus that I saw covered every one of us. 
and that give me a renewed hope. That this meeting will not be ordinary. The day it ends is the day your, your change begins. The day it ends is the day you are enrolled into the school. <laughs> you are holy. Father, you are
her left shoulder and said, I see you. Be a Whoever you are, yesterday ended last night. He can see you. So you can sing that song in a way that makes sense to you. Because he can see you. This woman was in serious tears. Jesus didn't send angel. I saw him right by her. And he held that left shoulder and said clearly to her eyes, I see you. The experience you will have from this meeting will be such that will make you to be seen and loved by God. If there had been general message, this one is specific. I can see you. Have a Lord Jesus. Have a Lord Jesus. Happy love it is the most beautiful. Amongst us, and that's my darling Jesus, the most beautiful amongst us, and that's my darling. My darling Jesus, He is the most beautiful amongst us. And thus, you are Yeshua. Thank you. 
The one who us, the song of purity. We give glory to Jesus forever. We will sing. To the one who redeemed us, the song of the redeemed, we give glory to Jesus. We give glory. To Jesus, we give glory to Jesus. We give glory to Jesus. We give glory to Jesus. Glory to Jesus. We give glory to Jesus. The one who paid a price so great for us. We give glory to Jesus. We give glory to Jesus. We give glory to Jesus. So let our King live 